Hello, welcome to P Gurus. Uh, we are doing recording all the questions we missed out due to, due to a bad internet connection last week. So uh, let's get started. And uh, uh, please do like, share, subscribe. It doesn't matter uh, even if you want to abuse us, do leave a comment. Uh, it'll help the algorithm. Thank you. So first question, Dominic Sabji Malai. Uh, your thoughts on Arun Shuri, Pratap Bhanu Mehta, they were always center right. Yes, they were. And remember, they are brilliant people who, brilliant people are ambitious people. They expect something in return. And when they don't get that in return, frustration sets in and they move on. And that's what happened. Uh, you know, the problem is uh, this current government, they blame a lot of people who they believe backstabbed Vajpayee after he ceased to be prime minister on this lack of ideological loyalty. So they're weeding out, uh, uh, they don't reward people that they don't consider ideological fellow travelers. And Arun Shuri and Pratap Bhanu Mehta were victims of that. Um, Arun uh, Pratap Bhanu Mehta actually is a very smart guy. The problem is it doesn't reflect in his writing because he uses extremely uh, convoluted English. Um, Arun Shuri, on the other hand, boss, he has been right wing since all of us were born. So, you know, I fundamentally think what was done to Arun Shuri was wrong, but well, it is what it is. I mean, we are not the prime minister and the prime minister has his own opinion and that's it. Next. Dr. MPC, can someone start a new religion legally? Yes, you can. You can. You can absolutely do that. Scientology is a new religion that was started up. Uh, Rastafarianism is a new religion that was started up. In India also, you can totally legally start a new religion. There is a religion called Ayyavari. Uh, Ayya meaning Lord, Vari mean the path of the Lord. Uh, uh, Hindus claim it's Shaivism, but they claim they are not. Uh, Lingayats want to be uh, claim that they are a different religion. Uh, you can start up something, Dr. MPC-ism tomorrow, and there's nothing to stop you. Next. Nikki Nair. What happens when aircraft carriers run out of ammunition or jet fuel for the aircraft? Yes, they do become sitting ducks. Uh, they are armored, but listen, no amount of armor can stop a 100 kg warhead if it's lobbed at you. You've seen how a, an 80 ton tank becomes putty when uh, a, a, a mortar bomb with about maximum a kg of explosive is dropped on it from a Hamas drone, right? Uh, Aircraft carriers are no different. Just one hit from a harpoon, uh, much more so from, say, a Brahmos, which have much heavier warheads and things, uh, can devastate you. Uh, the, the aircraft carrier's weapons are the aircraft. And that is why, uh, you know, it is their job to provide the first, second, and third line of defense. But they always operate with a carrier battle group, which is to say two, three missile cruisers, destroyers around them, which in case ammunition runs out, they will be able to uh, um, provide missile defense for the uh, uh, aircraft carrier. All carrier battle groups, at least American ones, including refuelers that are taken along with them, generally most carrier battle groups do, where they carry an extensive amount of ammunition and uh, fuel along with them. Uh, so that's how it works. Uh, uh, fuel for the aircraft, not for the uh, aircraft carrier because it's nuclear, um, at least the American ones are nuclear part. Next. Guts the Black Swordsman. Does Israel still adhere to the Hannibal Directive and do you support it? Yes. If you see what I saw on the Al Qassam Brigade's uh, um, uh, Telegram channel, you will also support it. What they do to Jewish captives is totally horrible. And it's probably better to stick to the Hannibal Directive. Sid Dave, uh, what do you think of leftists who say that LGBT people cannot be right wing and AM should not support BGP? By who listens to the leftists? The leftists say all kinds of crap. They talk about equity and equality and all of that. It doesn't exist in real life, no? So I never take leftists seriously, boss. So let them say what they want to. Kutta bhongne do, mere kya lena Next. 
unemployed. Why does even Sangis turn woke after studying for the civil service exam? That is the point I've been making. Your civil service board, your civil service exam, your syllabus is all written by leftists. Right now, the contract that's been given to Azim Hashim Premjim University has been completely hijacked by leftists. They're introducing their own crap out there. What do you do? Next. Vamsi. Will SC uphold electoral bonds give government based on oral observation on the judges? They will uphold oral bonds. That is my belief. Um, uh, from what I have seen, they are still in two minds about it, but it will come down on the side of the government because on balance, if you look at it, what is the problem with electoral bonds? I first want you to understand this. Electoral bonds means the giver can give to whoever he wants to give with anonymity. The opposition doesn't want that because they want to know who to punish. And they want to extract. So a guy will go and say, sir, uh, so for example, me, I want to say something done in Rajasthan. So I give, uh, say, uh, 40 crores in electoral bonds uh, uh, to, uh, I buy 40 crores of electoral bonds. Now, instead of uh, going and telling the guy, Ki, I want uh, to give it to Gehlot, I say give 10 to Gehlot and give 30 to Modi. Just essay. Now I go tell Gehlot, sir, I to 40 aapko diya tha. And now he has to, and the electoral bonds are at fault. They are not giving money to you. See, even before this, nobody was giving money to the Congress. No. In, in 2014, they stopped giving money to the Congress. His, his whole anger with Ambani is Ambani refused to give him the kind of money that he wanted. Because the uh, Ambani internal polling had shown that they were dropping down to something like 78. They ultimately dropped down to 44, but that's what it came down to. So they weren't giving them money. So these guys are upset and they want to make, they want the shield of anonymity lifted and they want to make it so that they can punish people who don't give them money. So on balance, I think, yes, the Supreme Court will uphold electoral bonds. Next. Hartik Tanki, the killing of jihadis in Pak looks like the ISI tying up loose ends. Is the Pakistani establishment looking for a deal with Modi Sarkar and your opinion on future ties in case Nawaz Sharif is back? Nawaz isn't coming back in the near future, but anyway, uh, uh, look, what Pakistan is trying to do basically, uh, Hardik, is that they don't know what's happening. And what we've realized very well is that crime networks work both ways. People who are willing to bomb you are for the right price also willing to bomb there. And they probably have much greater inroads because if you're already the uh, ISI ka paltu kutta, then you will obviously have certain kinds of access that a new contact will never be able to create. These are all disposable commodities. So if they're expo exposed to high risk, we don't care because they're criminals, they're scum anyway. This is what is happening in Canada. This is what is happening in Pakistan. That have uh, weaponized their own criminal networks against them. For what? Not even money. It's just that we're not going to trouble you for six months, one year, two years or anything. And that's it. Next. Himank 957, uh, how effective are Russian and Chinese L-band radars in detecting VLO aircraft? They're not. They keep claiming that they are, etc., etc. They, uh, they're really not very effective that we can tell. Now, remember, some VLO aircraft, VLO is very low observables, some VLO aircraft may hop in and out of very old radars, you know, uh, sort of uh, 1950s radars. They may hop in and out of that. We don't, I, I mean, we know, but I don't know what the physics of it is. But the older the radar, the better they are at being able to say that something is coming in. The problem is you can't gauge height. You can't gauge speed. There's all kinds. I mean, you can calculate speed, backward calculate speed. But you can't do all of these things. And what's what ends up happening is simply detecting it doesn't mean you can shoot it down. Because you can't shoot down things with an L-band radar. You need the kind of resolution that an X-band radar gives. Which is why most of the modern VLOs, not the bombers, of course, but the fighters, are X-band stealth optimized. Because you need that kind of resolution and final homing of a missile. All missiles have to be X-band, fundamentally, because that's the kind of resolution you need. And, see, I may be able to 
basically the scenario is this this is me i'm the radar this is one missile battery this is another missile battery and think of the question himank your name that's coming up here this is you are the target okay now i have detected you okay i am telling these two guys who are operating in the x band now if they're operating in the l band they'll never be able to hit himank here but uh, i am able to see them they are not able to see you so i have to tell these guys uh beta is gonna either mar either mar either mar now i'm telling him either mar more to the left more to the left i can't show him so it's very difficult getting that and even when the missile goes there himank is x band optimized so he can't even get a final tracker lock on at which time there will be plenty of other uh, you know countermeasures that the plane would have deployed so they're not very good at detecting uh, 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 vlos next rahul lakshmanan what is your opinion on uh, yuval harari look for somebody who practices yoga i find his knowledge of hinduism is abysmal uh as a rule i found he's very good on his western history but he knows nothing about oriental history uh you know huge parts like steppe migrations he doesn't really cover you know we're all we are the original turks we were the original steppe people who came and the turks are a completely distinct branch of some other humanoid family that came after us uh but you know we, we were both this thing you don't refer to that there is nothing about the impact on human history the huge gaps but you can't cover it in one book fine but what i found was his books are getting repetitive he's got nothing to say sapiens amazing book till it gets to all the individual philosophies at which point i find it getting very shallow but the first half or two thirds of that book is fantastic okay but what happens after that is homo deus i'm reading i'm going buddy there's really nothing new out here whatever you've said out here you've already said out there and then there is that last book what 20 policy solutions for something which is again regurgitating the old thing so he's run out of new things to say my bible has and will always be ian morris ian morris is a historian's historian that is what i read especially when i want this kind of yuval harari style of um, social uh, this thing uh, social history next sharveen shelke despite superpower bcci and west india team we fail to dominate match like oz under ponting from cricket to fighter jets india fails is it because of our upbringing no this is a classic thing you look at it historically when hemu gets killed the entire army collapses when porus gets injured the entire army collapses how often in indian history have you seen that when the king is taken down we don't have a command structure we don't have this idea we, we are so wedded to one individual that when that one individual is killed everything around collapses prithviraj chauhan the individual is killed the army disappears and runs away this is something we have never dealt with and it seems from what has happened in cricket you know in cricket this started kind of i mean look they chose to uh, bowl first knowing full well that when they went out to that is to say australia went out to bat uh, uh, the dew would um, help them but um, the way india kind of collapsed at what was it 220 something or 240 i forget now 240 na ha um nothing explains it other than this thing of you know systematic collapse in australia you tell me when have you seen a batting order collapse i haven't seen it in a very very long time they always hold by and this is cultural by the way i'm just not talking about cricket this is generally something you see ek ho jata hai they rest instead of holding the fort all fall like nine pins i don't know i honestly think it's i i fundamentally believe based on the military not on cricket that this is a cultural thing but the more i get into cricket the more i see that the same holds true for cricket as well which is why it's a cultural thing next shashwat s does our country need swat what's what uh, the swat valley why do we need swat valley 
um, I'm sorry, Shashwat, you have to ask your question much more clearly because I, I don't know what you are talking about and in what context and uh, whatever. So, yeah, but if, you, if you're talking about Swat Valley, it, it, it takes a long, uh, I mean, I, I don't know what the benefit of going in there and you're taking on a nuclear country. If you're talking about SWAT police, I think we should have SWAT teams everywhere. You need a well-armed police force, which has a military crack commando unit called a SWAT unit uh, to do certain things in certain places. Yes, I do. Uh, will we have it in this country? No. Um, I think the reluctance is, you know, to invest that much money in uh, police teams. And where have you ever had, like the last time we had a major siege was like Mumbai, where they sent in what CRPF and BSF and all of that, no? Uh, think of maybe CRPF as your spot, kind of. Not really, but you know, uh, that that's the way the government looks at it. I disagree, but then, you know, I'm not government. Next. Ayush. In history, do you take archaeological sources more seriously or literary sources? Very good question, Ayush. You know, the problem is most historians are not archaeologists. And so archaeologists get very, very upset with historians because history is fundamentally political. They have decided what they want to say and they will nitpick archaeological or literary sources as they deem fit to tell you their story. Um, I suggest you follow Disha Aluwalia. Uh, she writes for the print every now and then. She's an actual archaeologist who's been working on the uh, uh, Harappan ruins and things like that. Absolutely brilliant. And you know, when she appeared on Ranveer Allahabadi, a lot of these things were, why don't you interpret the history? Archaeology is very complex. You can't make the jumps of faith, the leaps of faith that historians do based on archaeology there. So it's um, history is fundamentally political. And you take her colleague at the print, that Kani Sethi fellow, he just keeps bullshitting. He'll, he'll draw complete fables and fantasies based on one coin. So, you know, it's, it's just one of these things. Next. Naman, is BB's career over? Who's going to replace him? A good question, Naman. I don't know. I'm not even, like, I was convinced when 710 happened that it was the end of BB's career. But I think BB's career will now depend on two things. One is the investigation commission report, which might give him a clean shit like the Agranath commission. It may blame the uh, uh, redundancy, the, the, uh, this thing on Intel. And to be fair, uh, BB would have acted on Intel. Nobody would have told him. And we know a warning was given to Tel Aviv, but no uh, idea of the scale of the warning was given to Tel Aviv. So uh, he may just survive it. Uh, Golda, even though she got a clean chit from the Agranath committee, was politically finished. So uh, he may survive legally, but he may not survive politically. The Shinbet chief has already taken blame for it, by the way. So... Uh, I don't see anybody who can replace him, but let's see. Let's see. Next. Ayush, do you read Katie Acharya's book on Indian food history? Are they authentic? No, I have not, but I should read uh, Katie Acharya uh, food history. Let's see. Uh, let me check. Katie. Indian food, a historical companion. I should definitely buy this. Thank you for recommending this to me. I am adding it to my uh, uh, to my cart for purchase. Thank you very much for this, Ayush. Siddhartha Mukherjee. There was a UFO sighting over Imphal Airport where an AD protected IF was implemented and Rafal fighters were scrambled. So, you know, people are telling me it's a balloon, boss. They're genuinely saying it's a Chinese balloon or one of our own weather balloons. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm sticking with as a rule. Uh, I, I, I never buy these uh, um, alien stories. I just don't. It's just one of those things. 
because if aliens can come that far, they would be able to reconnoiter us without ever having to reveal their presence. So yeah, not buying that. Next. Surab so, Jain, saw your tweet. There are are the trans stupid? They will be killed by Hamas even if they support them or is them. Look, this is called intersectionality. It's where all oppressed classes might find. So the leftists will identify who is oppressed and who is not oppressed. They will designate who the enemy is and who you should. And all these people that you see in Delhi Pride, I mean, by who has time to go out on a march during a working day, boss? Hmm? Uh, but these, I think this was on a Sunday though, so clearly they had time. But even otherwise, if you had it during a weekday, they'd show up because they're all jobless schmucks. Now, when you're jobless, you want to blame everyone for it. You, you have no stake in the game, but you are happy supporting it. So let them support it. No, who cares? Uh, let them go. I, I've, I've said this. I will sponsor your ticket to Gaza. You s go there and you see how long you survive. Just offer them. The next time you see them, just offer them a ticket to Gaza. Next. Dilip. Uh, is Afghan citizens from Pakistan being deported to Afghanistan will anger the Taliban government? That is exactly why they are being deported. I think this will blow back on Pakistan very badly. Uh, because, um, you know, um, it will raise a huge question mark on the Pashtuns already living in Pakistan. There are very deep family ties out there. It is not going down well. Um, I think Pakistan is shooting itself in the foot. Of course, th the whole point is to increase pressure on the Taliban. Suddenly, 3 million people come in. So depending on the re news reports, either 1.7 to 3 million people. A country like Afghanistan can't absorb that, especially one tottering on the brink like Afghanistan, basic subsistence level existence. So let's see what happens. It's uh, uh, it's not good for Afghanistan. It's meant to provoke a reaction from Afghanistan. But what will Pakistan do when Afghanistan does respond? That's the interesting thing. Next. Om Patel. How is the war going to affect Israel's economy? Very badly. See, on one hand, uh, they are looking at uh, getting a lot more. The Jewish diaspora has been deployed to get more investment in. They, they will, of course, get that investment in. But the problem is the huge part of the workforce. They are 7 million people strong. Uh, okay. And the army that has been stood up, normally the army is about 120,000. Now the army that's been stood up is 560,000. That is what my maths is very bad. But let's see. Uh, 560,000 divided by 7 million into 100. That's 8% of your population, boss. Okay, so that is heavily, heavily, heavily militarized. What are you going to do? That, that much of your population is uh, militarized. They are taken out of jobs. Okay, uh, they are taken out of their full-time day jobs and these are all high paying jobs. Huh? The reserves are very carefully selected out there. What happens to all those sectors that have lost manpower during that particular point of time? So the losses are going to be quite significant. They're going to have to be boosted up through uh, American aid and international funding. Um, that's what's going to happen. You will probably see a contraction of the economy this year. So thank you. Uh, very sorry for what happened uh, last time with my terrible internet connection. Alas, you know, even great hotels have terrible connections. And I hope this makes up for it. Thank you. Tata. Bye. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.